What is up? First, I want to say thank you and welcome to all my new subscribers. We finally made it to 800, so another milestone. All right, today I would like to talk about working on Saturday Night Live. This past weekend, Travis Kelsey, who was a football player for the Kansas City Chiefs, one of their key players in winning the Super Bowl, he hosted Saturday Night Live, and I had the opportunity to work along with him. I got a text on Thursday of last week asking me if I would be available for Friday. They were filming some scenes for Saturday Night Live, which I didn't know that it wasn't all live, but apparently the show gets filmed throughout the week, a lot of the skits, and it airs on Saturday. Well, some of it, I'd say about half is filmed live, and the other half is probably uh, previously taped stuff that, that they play for the audience there. And that makes sense if you think about it, because the host is a lot of times, you know, in this case, like an athlete. So he's not an actor. He can't just memorize all these lines and do the 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 skits all right away on one take so it makes sense that they would film the the scenes with the host in it throughout the week so that they can get it perfect you know so that it looks good when they air it on Saturdays now as far as like the musical guest at the end of the show that's all live and the opening monologue is all live and probably some of the skits throughout the show are live the ones that have like the normal cast members that's probably that's probably live so uh yeah i'm not ex sure exactly how they they got a hold of me um i know that the main studio there is at the same place 30 rock in new york where um where jimmy fallon films and if you've been following my channel you know that i've worked on jimmy fallon the tonight show twice now so um so yeah they know me in that area so i got a text message from uh, somebody with saturday night live asking me if i was available so i went up on friday and we filmed first they make you do a covid test um because that's still a thing and it was on 66th street where we were actually filming this so it wasn't at the the typical uh, studio where they film the live portion of the show on Saturday nights. We filmed it at a different studio on 66th, and it was a nice studio. Everybody was really friendly there. Um, can't complain about anything. I got to meet Travis Kelsey. They actually um, they used me as his body double. So in all the scenes where... You know, he has his back turned to the camera or something like that where, where you can't really see his face. That was all me. So I got to meet a lot of the the cast and um, the writers for Saturday Night Live. So it's always good to make that kind of connections, get my name out there. And I'll be showing some pictures um, afterwards. I didn't get a picture with Travis Kelsey, but, um, you know... We chatted a little bit, shook hands, gave a fist bump or whatever. And uh, his brother, Jason, who played for the Philadelphia Eagles, or still plays for him, but played in the Super Bowl against Travis, he was also there uh, for the taping. So got a chance to say hi to him. So that was kind of cool, meeting some, uh, you know, NFL players. And, you know, seemed like a down-to-earth guy, like it doesn't seem like his success has really gone to his head too much. But yeah, let me show you some pictures now. So for this scene, it called for him to be wearing a, a long haired wig. So they put this one on me. It was kind of cool. Um, I kind of wish I could grow my hair out like that actually, because I always wanted long flowing hair, but unfortunately if I ever try to grow my hair, it just kind of breaks off and doesn't, uh, doesn't grow out. But here's a picture of the actual Travis from the scene. As you can see, he has the same shirt. It says, you're worth it. And I think that's a good message because you are worth it. 
So this here is supposed to be Travis from the back, but it's actually me. So that's why you can tell the, the wig was necessary. Um, we're about the same height. I'm uh, quite a bit thicker than him, but you know, he runs and stuff. He's a fast runner, so it's a different sport. So this was cool. Um, there's an old woman in the scene and she catches a punch from the one guy and then kind of flips him. And then uh, later in the scene, she gets pushed into like a bookcase and it breaks. So that's why they obviously had a stunt double for her, who's a much younger lady, because they obviously don't want to have a old woman going through a bookcase and breaking some glass. And here's one of the, I believe he's a writer slash actor on the show. Uh, comedian. He was a good guy. His name was Martin. I'm not sure. I don't really watch the show on a regular basis, so I don't know how famous he is or anything. But all in all, it was a it was a really fun time. It was a great experience. Got to meet some people um, all around. Just a good time. Made some good money on it. And, um, you know, Everything is like one step closer, you know, to my career taking off and reaching, achieving my dreams. So, you know, thrilled to be just in that position to be able to to do something that I love and get paid for it. And, you know, I just keep chipping away at, at things and making it better. So, um, yeah, I guess uh, that goes to show, you know. As long as you're a nice person, you know, like when you work on some some jobs, you know, you never know what it's going to lead to in the future, whether you'll get called back for that same job or if something else will call you. So try to be respectful to everybody that I meet and try to do a good job whenever I'm at work because you never know who's watching. So for now, I'm going to go to bed. But thank you for watching again. Um, it means a lot to me, my subscribers and my likes and comments and everything. And uh, more more videos to come. So I just wanted to give that update on what's going on with my life. This channel is all about me. So that's what the brand is of this channel. There's not really a, a specific, like, certain topic. The topic is me. But you know, in a humble way. So thank you so much. And um, I'll talk to you later.